Hey, what's going on everybody? So welcome to the second video in this OpenVPN setup series. This is going to be the one I'm going to show you how to set up dynamic DNS service, put that on the routers so it'll dynamically update your public IP to a host name. So you can use any service you want really. And you can also configure this in the GUI if you don't feel like doing it in command line. However, keeping with the trend of this series, we're going to be doing everything in command line anyway. But so here's no IP. This is what I use. This is a dynamic DNS service. I like it because it is free. However, you do have to verify your host names every 30 days and you have a maximum of three. So you can only have three of these things set up and every month you're going to get an email being like, Hey, you need to confirm your host name. Is it still good? Cause if you don't, it'll delete it out of there. So if you just go to the sign up, use your, there's my email I used kind of scroll down. You can, yeah, you know, it's always going to offer you enhanced. The site wants to push that. But if you just do a free sign up, put in your email and all that, you should be good to go. And you can also set up a host name right from there if you want, but we're not going to. So I'm going to log into the account that I already made. And here's your dashboard. You can see I deleted my host names out. So I have zero active host names. And right here under quick add, you can enter in the uh, host name you want to use. So the ones we used for this uh, tutorial, I think we had home router 12 and we used dot ddns.net so you can select any of these you want really but ddns.net is the one we're going to use and we'll go into add host name and success we have one active now now the second one was going to be friend router 12 dot well we don't do the dot ddns so friend router 12 is our host name we're going to add that and now we have two active host names and if we click on this then it'll show us both of our host names along with the last update they received, which was right now, we just created them, and it'll show your public IP right here that you just created these with. So obviously they're blurred out of mine, I don't want everybody seeing my public IP address, but once these update from the routers, it's gonna show the public IP of the routers and when they updated. Now just to show you how to do this in the GUI if you want to, this is under services, DNS, and if you scroll down to the bottom, then there's this dynamic DNS section and you would put in, um, let's see, not web, down here, service. Scroll down to no IP if you're using it. Like I said, you can use any of these other services. The setup is the same. No IP, you would put in the host name you were wanting to use for it. So if this was your home router, home router 12.ddns.net. And then the login is going to be for your no IP account. Now, actually, I forgot to show you this. You need to go, once you set up your account, you need to actually go to your account and put in a username right here. So this is different from your email that you use to set the account up. Your username is what you're going to use to put on the router to update this host name. So once you get that finished and saved, that is what you are going to actually type in in this login section. So for me, it's Plex Office 4 and the password is going to be the login password you created for no IP and protocol is just you can't select it here. In the GUI, this is kind of a little weird uh, bug, I think. You actually have to save your configuration before you can enter in a protocol. And the server is going to be where it's sending its uh, dynamic updates to. So for no IP, it's going to be dynupdate.no-ip.com. For whatever service you're using, you need to figure out what their dynamic update server address is, and that's what you'll put in there. And at that point, you would save the configuration and then come back and put in the protocol and it'll look the same as the service, no IP. So I'm not going to do that because I actually already have uh, this set up on the router. I don't want to change it. So now that we have our dynamic DNS uh, account ready to go, we can configure these on the routers themselves. So let's just log into our home router and go into configure mode. And there's also going to be a little bit of a difference here in what we put in between an edge router and this VIOS. So it's the command is actually set service DNS dynamic and you can see we have oh interface your internet interface so for here Ethernet zero and service and you can see we have those a lot of the same services to select from here. Now no IP is not an option here on VIOS that I'm using so we're just going to be using uh, dynamic DNS DYN DNS It'll actually work the exact same if we use all of our no IP information. So technically the service does not need to match exactly. You can probably use one of these and use the template that 
it has and get away with it. So service dynamic DNS on the edge router, you would put in no IP. And then we just, we're gonna have to put in a value for all of these. So host name, home router 12.ddns.net, and then backspace that up, do login, Plex office four, back that up. I'm gonna do a password. I'm not showing you my password. And then the update server, which is dine update dot no dash ip dot com and on an edge router you would have one more option to put in and that is the protocol which is just going to match basically the service so on the edge router you would have the service dns dynamic interface ethernet zero service no ip protocol no ip at this point we can commit those changes and save it and we'll exit out of that and ssh over to our friends router so friend at 7.0.0.2 enter their password enter configure mode and do that exact same thing again so set service dns dy dynamic interface ethernet zero service dynamic dynamic dns or no ip for you on the edge router and then just go through these again it'd be great if you had this already typed out and you can just copy and paste it in there A friend router 12.ddns.net for our host name and then the login is all going to be the same and server dine update no ipcom and like I said before the last one you would do on an edge router is the protocol but we're not going to do that here it's not an option so that is all the configuration for dynamic DNS now we're back on the home router and if we open back open our web browser back up Go to our dashboard, look at our active host names. Let's do a refresh on this. There we go. So our host names now have different public IP addresses. They have been updated straight from the router. So you can see friend router 7.0.0.2 and our home router 200.0.0.2. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna monitor that interface for a different IP address. And whenever that changes, it's going to connect to this no IP service tell it what its new IP is, it'll update, and your VPN tunnel will keep going. We can kind of show this off, we can do an SSH to our friends router, but instead of using their IP, we can use their host name, so SSH friend at friendrouter12.ddns.net, and it'll ask us for our password, and we're in. So dynamic DNS is working. Now if you're following along, this is the point where your VPN would show up. So show open VPN, um, on an edge router, it's status site to site. On here, it's site to site status. And you can see we have transmit and receive. Now, we shouldn't be able to ping. What we're looking to do as our end state is to be able to ping our friend's private IP address straight from our router. So they had 192.168.0. Um, so dot one is their router. We cannot ping it. The reason we can't ping it is because we haven't set up routing yet. And I'll explain all of that in the next video. So thanks for watching this one. Hope to see you in the routing video where we set up OSPF or static routes depending on which one you choose to watch.